welcome back to Lethal Hammer's channel. Uh, today I wanted to take a look at the Scythe Cosimaster Pro. Um, as most of you have seen if you've watched any of our past videos, we previously were using the Scythe 4 channel Cosi um, fan controller, uh, but recently I've upgraded to not one, but two Scythe Cosi, uh, I guess the Cosimaster Pro, or model number KM03-BK. Uh, the reason for that is, you know, going into a bigger case such as the Danger Den Double Wide, it adds a lot more fan, I guess you could say fan potential. Uh, in this case, running three 360 black ice radiators, which is nine fans, plus an additional four 80 millimeter uh, fans on the back side, uh, giving us a nice total of, what is that, 13 fans in the case. That's a lot of fans, not even counting the, the PSU fan in general. Um, you know, in some cases, the four-channel um, Scythe Kazi uh, controller, which I have right here, um, this is a great product. Don't get me wrong. I ran it many times, uh, running multiple fans per channel, but the product just wasn't built to handle that. This doesn't have enough power to properly control more than four fans. I mean, I was easily getting away with five, possibly six. Uh, but if you try to go more than that, the device would just shut off, or you would get beep alarms, etc., etc. Uh, but going along with the build quality, I mean, the build quality of this is still really solid. You'll see it's it's a generic construction, very slim front panel. Uh, you'll see the heat dissipators, the connections for the fans here, um, plus the power connection. Also having the uh, the connections for temp sensors, which is great to have. You know, you, you can kind of you get the best of all the worlds with that. The difference being with the Kazi Master Pro is it's a much thicker design and I unscrew this so bear with me I have no idea how this will pull out but you'll see on this one I have the fans directly plugged in. Now it does come with extension cables just like um, the Kazi Master, or not the regular Kazi, you know you have the extension cables all marked and plugged in. Uh, but I chose not to use those mainly because I don't need them in this case. You'll see um, it's a wire mess for the most part. I still need to do some uh, vinyl dye on the cables so they're nice and black and get hidden. But you'll see the plugs are straightforward. Also, the device is a lot thicker. It's not just a slim front panel. So the overall construction is a lot more sturdier. Um, the LCD panel just, I mean, in my opinion, it looks fairly sexy. Um, you know, you adjust in between the settings of the fans on this, and then down here the individual uh, knobs control each fan channel. The nice thing is, compared to the first one, uh, fan channels are clearly labeled, um, easy to find. I guess it wasn't really an issue with on device being labeled, but when you get a, a wire bunch that is crazy like this, it gets a little hard to track what channel is what. Um, but also along the lines with the original Kazi fan controller, you have the temp sensors for six channels. Um, all the same as the other one, you can change from Celsius to Fahrenheit and you can mute the beep if, the, if you ever have an alarm or anything. I like having it because you know if you have a fan that's dying um, or if you have uh, one of the channels is failing, you get a nice little beep that warns you about that. So, again, very sexy, sleek device. It's nice and black. You can see the um, you know, nice blue letters with the greenish color uh, channel numbers. You can see I can switch between both sides, you know, one through three and four through six. You can adjust the fans individually, obviously. And if you have temp sensors connected, you can track the temp at that fan. Um, some people like going crazy, but the, to me that's just way too many <laughs> wires string throughout the system and just makes it even more complicated. Uh, I guess that would just be the next level for people, but um, not for me. Uh, I have temp sensors in line that I also that you can connect, like on my other... Uh, device on my other controller, the Pro controller here, I have the GPU and CPU in line temp sensors connected. So that way I can check to see what uh, temp my fluid is in my system. So again, apologize, you'll see the big ugly wire right here. 
that will be cut down and also painted a, a vinyl black so it will blend in. Um, but that is the Cosimaster Pro. You'll see I actually have my fans running at a fairly high RPM right now. I was doing some overclocking earlier, so uh, high level overclocking. But the uh, system's not too loud in general. I mean, being right up next to it, you can hear it, but when you're sitting at my, you know, three, four feet away, it kind of fades out. So, again, thanks for watching the channel, and uh, make sure to subscribe and stay tuned for more reviews.